What's up everyone, it's JTGT here, and I am back. Hopefully for a while. School and work has been a lot, but I'm here to bring you guys 10 mods because I felt like I haven't done mods in a while, and let's just get right into the first mod. So as I'm walking to the area for the first mod, uh, my world got corrupt. I tried to fix it for two months and I could not get it to work. So sadly I had to go through and I'm just rebuilding everything, but it seems to be going better. I made sure that I have backups this time so that shouldn't happen again. So the first mod on the list is Carry On. Now this is a mod I always add to worlds because it is very good quality of life mod. And all it does is it lets you crouch. You can change the keybind, it's default shift, and then you can right click to pick stuff up and move it, and it will keep all data in the item, and it works on mobs. I think you have to config it to work on hostile mobs, because it used to break the AI and make the hostile not hostile, but it's a great mod, and let's get right on to the next one. The next mod I decided to throw on this list was Utility Belt. This is a mod that reminded me a lot of some older mods from like 1.7.10 era and all it does is add a new curios uh, uh, item called the utility belt. You can put it on if you press N, so pressing and holding N will just have you soft toggle over and then B will keep it over there so like right now I'm letting go of B and I'm still there and I that's the toggle, N is the switch. And then to get into the menu for the belt, you have to press the apostrophe key and you can throw your items in. You can hold N and just scroll through. And this will save you tons of inventory space because you don't have to hold all your tools. So this next mod is pretty brief. I'm going to try and keep it as short as I can. It's called Magnum Torch. So all this does is it adds three different huge torches. You'll see what I mean by huge torches in a second. The first one is the diamond, and that prevents monsters from spawning in a horizontal range of 64 and a vertical range of 32. The next one is the emerald, that prevents creatures like cows, pigs, sheep, bunnies, stuff like that in a horizontal range of 128 six, and then 64 and vertical. The next one is the amethyst, which will block axolotls, underground water creatures, which is axolotls but modded. Just underwater creatures and ambient creatures same as the hostile mob range and all of this you can go to the config file set the shapes and the sizes and it works really good i've never had an issue with the mob except for when i forgot i had a torch down and my mob spawner didn't work and to show you how big the torches are they're big they are some huge torches and i believe they put off a really big light level i haven't tested the new version yet but you guys can go figure that out if you'd like now the final mod I actually have set up in this building is going to be up the stairs and I have reviewed this one in the past but they have updated to the newer version and that would be customizable elytra. So to get these elytra wings you just want to throw elytra into a crafting table and you will get your two separate wings. Now what this does is it lets you use dyes, it lets you use smithing templates, it lets you use, I think you can use banners, I haven't tried it but I don't want to at the moment, so I'm going to show you guys the power of customizable elytra. So I'm making one wing yellow and then one wing black. And I believe if I swap the direction, it actually switches which side, yeah, so you can see you can actually, it's fully customizable, there's tons of options here, and you can go through and mess with everything. And to show you everything, I'm going to go to the smithing table. And I'm actually going to make this one yellow with the warden, the ward armor trim, which I believe you get from going to an ancient city. And I'm going to do it on both of them. And then I will combine them so it has a mirrored pattern instead of being a single pattern. And when I put them on, you can see the patterns on there, the dyes on there. And the elytra work as normal, and it's a really fun mod if you just don't like the boring elytra look, or you want to try and make some cool capes with elytra. Now this next mod is one that I personally use in, I believe I've done it in every YouTube world, because I like the mod and I think it's kind of funny. Now I've set this area up for a mod called Transmog, and this is the Transmorgif transmogrification table. I said that wrong the first time I reviewed this mod and I figured that out myself. So what it does is like here you can see I transmogrified it into a stick. So when I hold the sword everyone else sees a stick. 
that it just it's basically just a disguise for items so what i want to do here is i'll take some beef and a sword now to use the table you're gonna need to craft it with a void fragment and then take some amethyst i don't remember how much it uses but you throw in the item you want to use and then the one you want to disguise it as you have to put them in this order or you'll get a beef that looks like a netherite sword and then you put your amethyst in and we now have a netherite sword that when i hold it looks like beef and yes it does keep all the effects of the weapon it doesn't clear anything and that's what i actually did with this leather hat is I made it an end rod so I constantly have a unicorn horn go back on other videos and you'll be able to see that I rarely take this thing off now these next couple mods are dangerous so I have this area for dangerous mods specifically and this first mod that I'm going to show you which you probably all recognize these guys already uh, this is an old mod that's been around for a really long time and it's updated. It's called Mutant Monsters. Now what this does is it adds boss fights like the Mutant Creeper, the Mutant Zombie, the Mutant Enderman, and the Mutant Skeleton. Alongside a new companion that you can have fight with you, the Mutant Snow Golem. Uh, I'll tell you now, the Mutant Snow Golem probably won't win, so I wouldn't focus too much on getting the Snow Golem, but I will show you guys how this mod works. So, to create the mob, you want to first find a mob, so I have a creeper spawn egg. And I'm going to go across the lake for this, because I would rather not blow up everything. Okay, so this right here is a good spot. I'll place the creeper, and I'll throw chemical X on it. Now you gotta wait a second, and it will change to a mutant creeper. I don't remember if it has a chance to do it. Nope, there it goes, and the boss fight has started. It is coming after me, and it is not nice. It shoots baby creepers. They hurt. Everything is painful, and I'm just going to cut back so I don't die. So I just switched it to peaceful and back, and I'm pretty sure I just cleared the rest of the mobs that I had inside of the safety area, but oh well, you guys saw them. Uh, install the mod. Every single one of these can spawn naturally without the potion. And they're scary because you'll just be wandering around and they will they will kill you really fast. Yeah, so all of them are gone now. The mutant enderman, in my opinion, is one of the hardest fights. But when you kill them, they drop things. So the creeper, when you kill it, will spawn an egg. And once you hatch the egg, you'll get a creeper minion. Oh, no. But it's not one that will try and kill you. Uh, when you kill the mutant skeleton... It will drop its body parts and you can use those to create armor. So I'm going to take off my hat. I know I just said that I never do this. But as you can see, I get status effects, jump boost and speed. And it gives me some decent armor and I look pretty cool. And then the zombie, I believe, is the one that drops the whole camera. And the enderman has the ender soul hand. Now, this hand is kind of spooky. I don't remember exactly how to use it but I think it looks pretty cool. And the hammer will do hammer things. This mod's really fun if you think survival is kind of too easy and you want to throw some bosses in, I would highly recommend it. Let's just go right to the next one. Now, staying in the safety of my little safety dome here is the next mod, which I don't remember what it was called. Baby, f It adds babyfication and a baby fire. So what it does is you can actually hit yourself with these potions. I'll show you that in a second, but every single mob here you can actually turn into a baby variant using the potion or the baby fire. So I'm going to do a wandering trader and probably a spider. So let's throw in a cave spider. So if I throw a cave spider in and I shoot it with the babyfication ray, it becomes a baby cave spider. Now, all of these mobs will gain status effects like speed. I believe they just get speed because baby mobs are faster. So I'm going to make a baby wandering trader. Boom. Look at the little man. And if I get the potion, those also work on the mobs. Like, as you can see, this one's grown up. It dodged it. Why? Okay, I'll grab a different mob. Let's do a normal spider and baby. As you can see, I hit myself with it. And now you guys get to see me without a nose. And I'm a baby. I don't like this, if you couldn't tell. Actually, no, my nose is in my chin. Oh boy, this is... 
this is something, but I'm a speedy little speed demon, and it's a pretty fun mod if uh, you like to torture your friends with baby skeletons, because those things suck. Now that I'm back in the safety of my home, I can show you the last mod for this area, and that is Just Hammers. Now what Just Hammers adds, it adds scalable hammers, so it goes from hammer to impact to reinforced to reinforced impact to destructor. Now all these do are what normal hammer mods do, and it just mines in starting off a 3x3x1, so it's going to mine 3 blocks up, 3 to the side, and 1 back. The next one's going to do the same, but 3 blocks back. The next one's going to do 5 blocks by 5 blocks by 1 block, then the other one's going to do 5x5x3, five by five by and finally, the gold destructor, which is a 5x5x5. Five by five by five. Another side note, these hammers do not break. Once they get to zero durability, you can repair them in an anvil. And it is a really nice mod because you don't your tool doesn't break, and it's really good for clearing out tunnels, or if you're like me and you like to clear out caves to build in, great mod for this. As you can see, the next mod includes stuff that you can see through. Now, this next mod is Macaw's Windows, and this is a mod that is one I've never gotten to be able to work in a pack before, but recently all the Macaw mods have started to work, for me at least, and I am loving them. So all this mod adds is windows and windows accessories, and yes, they all work, and including like these bars, everything, like it just all works. I really like these windows compared to the normal Minecraft windows. And for the paned windows, you can actually open them. And I learned if you stack them as two, you can use them as a door. You can make a little glass door out of a window. And then we also have shutters for the sides of your windows. They, they still work a little weird, so I wouldn't go running, hurrying for the shutters unless you have an idea for how to use them. And then they add this one-way glass, which I think is kind of funny. I like using one-way glass, especially when I have security craft installed. Beautiful, mo beautiful, funny moments on servers with that. And then we have all their stained mosaic glass. Now, these glasses are amazing. So if you're building a cathedral or some sort of building where you're using stained glass that needs patterns, highly would recommend using these windows. They look amazing. So I have this house over here. And I went through and I replaced all the windows with the Macaw windows, just to show you how well they can integrate into a build. So up here, as you can see, I've replaced them with just Macaw windows. They fit perfectly with the aesthetic, in my opinion. And overall, oh my goodness, keep walking on the table. Uh, it, they just, they're great if you like to decorate. I would highly recommend looking at just Macaw's mods in general. But if you like these windows, I would go get them and add them. They don't seem to cause any issues and they work great with shaders. Now this next mod didn't seem to like to work with the shaders too much, so I'm gonna have to turn them off for this. Sorry about that. But this next mod is called Build Place. Now, build, build Paste, sorry. And all it lets you do is copy and paste Minecraft builds. So if I already have it selected, which I don't think I do, I can let, oh I do. So remember that house from the last mod? I actually used this mod for that. So I can right click to rotate the schematic, and then if I left click, boom, places the house. I don't get much lag personally with it. I don't understand why it has this issue. I, I've been getting this a lot recently with the new Forge version where the blocks, mainly command blocks, have done it up to this point. But you get the idea. It pace builds, and it seems to work fine. You do have to go to their website, which I have a link to with the mod in the description. And you can go find them. You can go find builds, and it's really fun to go see what people have made. Well, that will wrap it up for all the mods today. I am very excited to be recording again. I have missed it a lot for the past. I believe it's been 110 days. <laughs> um, I'm starting a new thing where I'm actually putting my personal mod folder in a Dropbox and putting that in the description. So if you guys are having any issues with the mods, you can see exactly how I have it set up. And I also have a link directly to the shaders that I am using because, oh my goodness, I love these shaders. Uh, I recently found them and they've been doing me great. So if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Maybe even share it to some friends you think would like it because my channel is suffering. And if you want more content, uh, I, can, I can post more. Just let me know. Well, I'll see you guys all next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.